go ahead and go over some addition properties, or properties of addition. First off, we've got the zero property of addition. And what the zero property of addition means and says is this. If we add zero to any number, we get that same number. So eight plus zero equals eight, or nine plus zero equals nine. It doesn't matter what side of the equation it's on. Also does not matter as to our order. So if we have zero plus three for our add ends there, that sum is still three. And then just as I was trying to say before, if we put zero plus seven on the right hand side of the equation, zero plus seven does equal seven. Can you solve these before I write them? Seven plus one plus zero equals, right, eight. And then let's try one more. I'll put it up here. Zero plus nine equals, <laughs> better not say zero, it does equal nine. So the zero property of addition, I'll write it on the next page. You write it down as your vocabulary and write yourself some examples. So again, here's the vocabulary. Take a moment to write it down for yourself. You might want to hit pause. Zero property of addition, when you add zero to a number, the sum is that number. And take a moment to write down some examples for yourself, just as the previous screen. You can write down my examples if you want, or come up with your own. 3 plus 0 equals 3. 0 plus 4 equals 4. 7 is equal to what plus 7? Right, 0. So those are some examples of this zero property of addition. Let's take a look at another property. Our commutative property of addition states that when you change the order of the add-ends, the sum stays the same. So as you see here, order of the add-ends is 7 plus 5, 7 and then 5, whereas on this side we've actually changed the order of the add-ends, 5 and 7. If we just take a moment to evaluate both sides of that equation, we know that 7 plus 5 does equal 12, and 5 plus 7 does equal 12. So this does hold true, that 7 plus 5 does equal 5 plus 7. Let me go ahead and show you another example. Showing you another example, if we had 9 plus 6, again, our order of the addends is 9 and then 6 on that left-hand side of the equation. On the other side of the equation, what number would we write first? Right, 6 plus 9 to demonstrate this commutative property of addition. One last example for you, and then I'll take a moment to go ahead and have you write down that definition again. If we have 3 plus some number, 3 plus some number equaling 7 plus 3, what number do we have to add right here? We're going to have to go ahead and add 7. 3 plus 7 equaling 7 plus 3. That there's the order of operate. I'm sorry, that there's the commutative property of addition. So 3 plus 7 is 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. So that that equation holds true. When you change the order of the add-ends, the sum stays the same. Again, you might want to pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you again. Commutative property of addition. When you change the order of the add-ends, the sum stays the same. And so when you change the order of the numbers that you're adding together, that sum, which is the answer to an addition problem, it still stays the same. So what they're trying to say again is 8 plus 7 does equal... 7 plus 8, where we change the order of those add-ends, where that sum, 15, does stay the same. That 15 does equal 15. Go ahead and take a moment to go ahead and write down that definition and write down another example for yourself. I'll write another one down here. 9 plus 6 equaling 6 plus 9, showing us that commutative property of addition. This of addition part is important as there's going to be other properties of some other operations, an operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So we don't want to get those properties confused. Some people will abbreviate commutative property, C-O-M-M. -M. One of the ways that I like to remember that this is the commutative property of addition, commutative, what I think of is a commute, and if you're commuting from home to work, what you're doing is that you're going from home to work, and you're going home from work, and you're going from home to work, you're traveling from home to work, where you're going back and forth, back and forth, you're going one way, and then you're going another. 
So you're going one way, 8 plus 7, and then you're going another, 7 plus 8. That's why I remember commutative. And then so you need to think of a way that you'll remember it for yourself, that this is an example of a commutative property of addition. All right, here's the definition. Go ahead and copy it down for yourself, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the example and what it exactly means. So we've got the associative property of addition. When you change the way the add-ins are grouped, the sum stays the same. When you change the way the add-ins are grouped, those are the numbers we're adding together in an addition problem, the sum, that answer of an addition problem, stays the same. Here's your examples. Here's an example showing the associative property of addition. And then so again, it says when you change the way the add-ins are grouped, and the way that we show grouping in mathematics is we use the parentheses. We use the parentheses. So 5 and 2 are grouped together on this left-hand side. And then so what we're doing on the other side of the equation, we're keeping the add-ins the same. You'll notice that it says 5 plus 2 plus 3, if we're just looking at that equation without the parentheses, 5 plus 2 plus 3 again. And then, however, in this case, instead of grouping together 5 and 2, on the left-hand side, that's how it is, on the right-hand side, we're grouping together 2 and 3. If we evaluate both sides of those equations, just to show you that this associative property of addition is true, and for that second part where it says the sum stays the same, 5 plus 7 is, I'm sorry, that says 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 3, which is 10. And then on the opposite side of the equation, we had 5 plus 2 plus 3, and we always do what's in parentheses first. So it's 2 plus 3 is 5, and we've got 5 plus 5 does equal 10. And again, so this is an example of the associative property of addition. See if you can come up with another example for yourself and I'll show you one more on the next screen. All right, so if we look at this equation here, we've got 15 plus 9 plus 3 is equal to 15 plus 9 plus 3. Where on the left-hand side, the two numbers that are grouped are 9 and 3, and on the right-hand side, 15 and 9 are grouped. You'll notice again that we have the same add-ends in that same order on both sides of the equation. So, but the the numbers that we group, if we group different sets of numbers, that sum should still be the same. 15 plus 12 is 27, 15 plus 9 is 24, plus 3, and I'm going to put this here. Does it equal, do they equal 27? Does it equal 27? Yep, they equal, so the sum stays the same. So again, doesn't matter what it is that we end up grouping, that sum still is going to be the same. This is the associative property. And sometimes people like to abbreviate it this way, associative property. It'll depend on your teacher as well if you really want to be precise because you are going to have an associative property with some other operations. We'll call this the associative property of addition. Of addition. Here's a little quiz. Which property is shown? Which property is shown? And you may use your little sheet, uh, your notes, to go ahead and help you. 3 plus 7 equals 7 plus 3. Which property is that? Which property is that? If you said commutative property of addition, you are correct. Here's another one for you. What is it? Which property is it? Hmm, you might have said zero property, but if you notice here, we actually have two add-ins over here. We've got two add-ins over here. And so this here also is the commutative property of addition. For the zero property, we'd have had, had 4 plus 0 equals 4. That could have demonstrated that. Which property is that again? Right, zero property of addition. I'm going to just go ahead and write the symbol there of addition, like that there. Show you a couple more. You notice I actually have four add-ins over here. I do have four add-ins over here, except I've got these. And this indicates that I'm doing what? So what property is it? Think, think, think. 
hopefully you said something close to associative property, and that's spelled A-S-S-O-C-I-A-T-I-V-E, associative property of addition. Three plus seven equals seven plus three is the two plus zero equals two is the good job. Hopefully now you know those properties of addition and those are going to help you as you encounter more and more addition problems.